Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great time in school this year. I hope you're having a great school year so far. I know I am. I'm having a fantastic time teaching this new curriculum. This is uh, uh, Integrated 1 again. This is uh, the ninth lesson of the first unit. So let's go ahead and get started. It's on exponents. So everybody's done this before. So uh, write as a repeated multiplication and then evaluate. So I'm going to go kind of fast. Okay, 4 squared. Okay, everybody, okay it's not 4 times 2. A lot of people want to do 4 times 2. 4 squared is 4 times 4. It's You do uh, this number. This is called the base right here. This is called the exponent right here. Remember, this is the base. This is the exponent. So it's the base uh, times itself uh, that many times to the exponent times. So it's 4 times 4. There's two of them. And 4 times 4 is 16. Okay. All right. 3 to the fifth. All right. Well, that's going to be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Five times. Okay, and then you can kind of mix and match, you guys. What I did is I'm, I did I grouped these two threes. Three times three is nine. This three times three is another nine right here. And and nine times nine. Hopefully you guys know that nine times nine is eighty-one. And then eighty-one times three. I did that over here, right here. Three times one is three. And then three times eight is twenty-four. So I get two hundred forty-three on that one. Right. So three to the fifth. Now remember the directions say write as a repeating decimal. So here it is. I'm sorry, it's a repeating multiplication. So here it is, is a repeating multiplication, three times three, five times, okay, and then uh, and then evaluate. So it's 243. So there's really two parts to this, okay. Here's number uh, three, two to the sixth. There it is, as a repeated multiplication. That's part of it, you guys. And then we got to multiply. Okay, two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is sixteen. Sixteen times two is thirty-two. Thirty-two times two is sixty-four. Okay, so that equals 64 right there. Okay, nicely. All right, so, uh, okay, negative 2 squared. All right, so negative 2 squared, when I do that, it's going to be negative 2 times negative 2. Okay, notice the parentheses. The negative is being squared also. Okay, all right, so there it is as a repeated multiplication. And then a negative times a negative is a positive. So this equals positive 4. Okay, and then look at number 5. Number five looks almost like number four. In fact, a lot of people want to get the same answer. They want to either call these both negative four or both positive four. And they're not on this, you guys. Look, this negative is being included with the exponent, whereas here, the negative doesn't have a parenthesis around it, so the negative is just floating out in front. The only thing that has the exponent is this 2 right here. So I've got to leave that negative alone right there. The negative is not being included. Only the 2 is being uh, with the exponent right here. So I'm only going to do the 2 squared and leave the negative alone, you guys. So, so there's the negative right there. That negative is still floating out in front of there. And then this 2 squared is 2 times 2. Okay, so now I'm going to multiply 2 times 2, these red guys right here, and I'm going to get 4, but it's still negative on this one right here because the negative was not being included. So do you see the difference between this one where the negative is being included with the exponent and here the negative is not? So just watch for the exponents, you guys. This one's going to get me a positive 4, whereas this one's going to get me a negative 4. That negative stays there no matter what. All right, let's try this with a cube, you guys, negative 2 to the 3rd. All right, so it's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Okay, negative 2 times negative 2. A negative times a negative is a positive, so this equals positive 4. And then positive 4 times one more negative 2, that's going to get me a negative 8. Okay, so, <clears throat> whoops, I, didn't, I went a little bit too fast. So these two guys get me this positive 4, and then I'm going to multiply this red 4 times this blue negative 2, and that's going to get me a negative 8. All right, what about uh, negative 2 to the third? where the negative is not being included. Okay, so only the 2 to the third is being uh, to the exponent right there. So the negative, notice the negative just stays out there. The negative didn't have the exponent. Only the 2 did, so 2 times 2 times 2. See here, the negative was included with the exponent. So it's negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. All right, so let's do this red stuff here. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, but the negative still floats out in front of it. So this one is negative 8, and so is this one negative 8. You just got to watch out. If it's going to an even power, when the negative is being raised to an even power, then the negative disappears. But here, the negative doesn't have an exponent, so it's not being raised to any power. Only the 2 is right there. All right? All right, I got some more here. Okay, anything uh, that's raised to the zero power always equals one. So x to the zero equals one. Here's an example here. Six to the zero, that equals one. 
125 to the 0, that equals 1. Even an algebraic expression like the quantity 2x minus 7, if there's parentheses around it and it's being raised to the 0 power, it equals 1. Okay, so anything to the 0 power equals 1. Now be careful, you guys. Um, this negative is not being raised to the 0 power, only the 25 is. So 25 to the 0, this equals 1, but the negative out here stays, that negative right here. Whereas this one, the whole thing is in parentheses being raised to the 0 power. When everything's being raised to the 0 power, that equals a positive 1 right there. Okay? All right, so just uh, be careful. Watch your negatives, you guys. Let's evaluate some of these. So 2 to the first minus 1 to the 0 plus 3 to the third. Okay, exponents. Let's deal with all of those, you guys. Okay, 3 to the third I did over here. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So here they are. 2 to the first is 2. Uh, 1 to the 0, anything to the 0 is 1. And then uh, 3 to the third is 27. So now I'm going to do 2 minus 1 is, is 1. And then um, uh, 1 plus 27 is 28. Okay? All right, here, let's try this one. 1 to the fifth minus the quantity 2 plus 3 to the second power. Okay, well, i got to do the quantity first. So I did that quantity first right there. I didn't do any colors. I should have right there. should have made this red. 2 plus 3 is 5, so 5 squared. So now I can do 1 to the fifth. Well, 1 to any power equals 1, because 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. 5 times equals 1. Okay, and so 1 minus 25, you're going to get um, uh, 1 plus a negative 25. Remember, when we're subtracting, we add the opposite. So this is uh, going to be plus a negative 25, and then 1 plus a negative 25 is a negative 24. You saw the cats and dogs video, you guys. This would represent cats. This would represent dogs. If you didn't, I don't want to elaborate too much on it because it'll lose you. Okay, how about this one? 3 times 4 cubed. Okay, order of operation says I have to do the 4 cubed first. So 4 cubed is 64. So I had to do that first. So 64, 4 times 4 is uh, 16. 16 times 4 is 64. And then I got to do 64 times 3. I did that over here. 3 times 4 is 12. Here's the 2. Here's the 1 for the tens part on the 12. So I carried it up there. And then 3 times uh, 6 is 18 plus 1 is 19. So I get 192. Okay, 7 squared. Now, when there's nothing with the parentheses, it's understood to be multiplication. So when nothing's there, that means times this guy, 2 squared. So 7 squared is, is 49, 2 squared is 4, and then this just means multiply. When there's nothing in between the parentheses, it just means multiply. So 49 times 4, see I did it right here, 4 times 9 is 36, so I carried the 3. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. So I get 196 on that. Okay, easy enough. How about negative 3 squared minus 2 squared plus 1 to the fifth? Okay, now, is this negative going to be squared? Okay, no, it's not, you guys. Only the 3 has the squared part on it right here. So let's go ahead and do that here. So uh, uh, 3 squared is 9. 2 squared is 4. 2 times 2. This is 3 times 3 right here. Okay. And then 1 to any power equals 1 right there. Okay, so notice this negative stayed, this minus stayed, and here the plus is right there. All right, so now let's go ahead and do adding the opposite. So negative 9 minus 4 is the same as negative 9 plus 4. Okay, then plus 1. Okay, negative 9 plus 4 is negative 13. So here's my plus 1. Negative 13 plus 1 is negative 12. Okay. All right, try this one. Okay, here the negative is not inside the parentheses, only this guy is. Okay, so I got to do the 5 squared, and here let's do this exponent, 4 cubed. Well, we already did that. 4 to the third is 64. Okay, so I just did the exponents, you guys. 5 squared is 5 times 5. 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. Okay, so now this negative here, I got to do the multiplying first. So 2 times uh, 64 is 128. There it is, I did right there. And then now we just got to add negative 25 plus 128. That's going to get me a positive 103. All right? Okay, write an expression for each one of these. Okay. So you ate two pancakes today. Every day thereafter, you double the amount of pancakes that you ate. Write an exponential expression for how much you ate on the 10th day. Wow, that's a lot of pancakes, boy. Golly, you gotta have, you gotta, you gotta be pretty hungry. Um, it's a big number, so it's like uh, it's two thousand something, I think. 
anyways. It's not asking for that part. It just says write an exponential expression. Okay, so the first day we ate two pancakes, okay? And then it says we double after that. So the second day is going to be uh, two times two, okay? We double it, so that's two squared, okay? Because it said write an exponential expression. So there, there's my exponential expression. It's, it's an exponent right there. An exponential expression is an exponent. Okay, so the third day, you guys, we just take this answer right here, this 2 times 2, and multiply it times another 2, because it keeps doubling, doubling, doubling. So it's 2 to the third. What would the fourth day be? If the third day is 2 to the third, what's the fourth day? Well, it's 2 to the fourth, hopefully. The fifth day is 2 to the fifth. The sixth day is 2 to the sixth. So finally, the tenth day is 2 to the tenth. So there's the answer. There's my exponential expression for 2 to the tenth. Now, it's not asking us to find 2 to the 10th, but if we wanted to find 2 to the 10th, it would be 2 times 2 times 2, 10 times, and you just keep multiplying, and you should get 1,024. But that's not what it's asking, you guys. It says write an exponential expression. There it is. There's my exponential expression. 10 is the exponent. 2 is the base. All right? So I get 2 to the 10th. Okay, so write an exponential uh, uh, expression. I should have wrote expression in there, so think of the word expression is right there for how much you ate on the nth day. Well, if this is how much I ate on the 10th day, 2 to the 10th, then how much I ate on the nth day is going to be 2 to the nth power. Okay? Nice and easy. All right, let's twist it up a little bit, you guys. Here's another one similar to that, just but it's a little bit different. A single germ infects a cell. Each day thereafter, the germ triples. Okay? So, write an expression for how much the germ, uh, how many germs are on the fourth day. Okay. Well, on the first day, you guys, you have one germ because it says a single germ infects the cell. So on the first day, there's only one germ. Then it starts tripling. So on the second day, it's going to be um, uh, the first one times three, which is just three. Okay. Then on the third day, it triples again. Well, triples means times three. So it's going to take this answer right here times three again, which is just three squared. On the fourth day, it's going to be another one times three. So I just take this answer times three again, which is three times three times three. Don't, you don't need to worry about the one anymore, okay? So there it is right there. So on the fourth day, it's three to the third, okay? What about uh, if I asked you now, uh, write an expression for the nth day? Well, check this out, you guys. There's an imaginary little one right there. When there's not an exponent, it's understood to be a one. So this is three to the first on the second day. On the third day, it's 3 to the second. On the fourth day, it's 3 to the third. Can you see a relationship with this exponent and this number right here? It's always 1 less than that. So if I did it on the nth day, it's going to be 3. Be careful with this. Watch this. To the n minus 1 power. On the nth day, it's 1 less than whatever this is. So it's going to be n minus 1. Okay? Sorry for the long lesson, you guys. And uh, I hope you're having a great year. Take care.